evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the live show. My name is Tyrone Brown Jr. And of course, you all know who this is. The lovely wife. <laughs> hey, um, we are appreciative that you have joined us tonight. And we have, uh, we are continuing our lesson uh, that we started last week about the, our marriage confession. Mm -hmm. But before we get into our marriage confession, uh, we do have a few announcements. Okay. Um, so the first announcement, you all know that we have changed up our date mm -hmm. for our, um, our shelter, our community uh, shelter giveaway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that is going to be held on Friday, July the 16th at 12 o'clock noon. Do not forget, um, if you want to be a part of that donation, you are more than welcome to do that um, by donating to our cash app that is dollar sign the life show podcast. If you don't don't want to uh, do the uh, cash app, you're more than welcome to email us at the life show podcast at gmail.com. Okay. And then lastly but not least. If you want to call us uh, to arrange a pickup of a donation, you're more than welcome to do that. Here's the number. <laughs> I Two, might be in the way. So. 219-613-4890. Um, again, we just want to make sure that we are providing the best service possible. And so um, we appreciate you uh, for all of your donations so far, and we believe that this is going to be our biggest community event yet. Yes. <laughs> so, um, our next announcement is um, the live show is on all social media. We're on all social media. That means we're on YouTube, which you are watching or probably watching at this time um, at the live show podcast. Okay. And then we're also on Facebook at uh, The Life Show. <laughs> we're also... <laughs> All Things Life Show. All Things Life Show. We're <laughs> also on Instagram at The Life Show Podcast, as well as Twitter at The Underscore Life Underscore Show. And so, again, ladies and gentlemen, we do not want you to miss an opportunity to join us. Uh, for any of our programs, and you definitely do not want to miss it. Honey, am I missing anything? I don't think so. All right. So, with all of that said and done, we're going to begin tonight's lesson um, about marriage confession, our marriage confession, which we do every week, which we do every program. And so, um, we normally start off by doing the marriage confession, but since we are actually talking and teaching on the marriage confession, I think that it's appropriate that we take it step by step by step. Right, and I don't want to necessarily call it teaching. We're just having a conversation. Right. We're, we're explaining why we say our marriage confession. Correct. So we're just kind of breaking it down um, of what we mean when we say these confessions because right. this is something that we believe right. um, and, and that will really help your lives as it is helping ours. So we yeah. do confessions, not just these. We do a lot of confessions. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and so we just want to make sure that we don't want to say we're teaching you per se, but we're just explaining why or the breakdown of this particular marriage confession. Okay. So, um, last week we did part one. Okay. Okay. And we're still, if I'm not mistaken, we're still on the women. Is that oh, correct? Yeah. We, we haven't even touched the surface. <laughs> it's, so, this is going to be more or less, um, like this is going to be sick. The marriage confession is this is going to be a season, right? A series. Yeah, a series. It <laughs> is a series. This is part two. Yeah, this is episode part two. two of marriage confession. There it is. There <laughs> it is. There it is. And so, 
Um, honey, if you would start off um, and talking about the next part in the marriage confession so that we can begin to explain that. Yes. So I want to say the next part is um, I decree to be a woman of character, integrity, wisdom, and will help lead my home in worship, even as I am a worshiper. Yeah. I want to say that's where we yeah, are. Yeah, that's where we and are. And that is only the second sentence. Yes. <laughs> because last week we talked about the very first sentence, which is the, as the wife, as the co-leader of my home, I decree to stay committed and being faithful. And I decree to um, encourage, protect. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I think I jumped the gun. I don't think we spoke about I decree to encourage, protect, value, and be a listening ear. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Or did we? We did. We did that we part. Did. Okay, because I thought I was getting ready to go in about that <laughs> listening ear. But now that I said that, I remember us talking about being yeah. a listening ear. Okay. So, we are on this right part. I decree to be a woman of character. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to stop right there. Because it's a comma. Okay. I decree to be a woman of character. Okay, ladies. So we definitely have to have character in everything that we do, right? Sure. So we are... What word do I want to use? Um, we're not just representing ourselves. We're representing Christ. And we're representing our family as a whole when yeah. we're coming out amongst everybody else. Okay. So when they see me, they should be like, oh, that's Tyrone Brown's wife, right? Right. And when they see him, they should be like, oh, that's Cherie's wife, uh, husband, yeah. right? Yeah. Because we represent each other. Definitely. We bounce off of each other. Definitely. When, we see, when you see one, you see the other, that, right? That word character, what is the base definition of character and what it means? Character, and I want to make sure I'm using the right words, okay? And I'm going to correct me if I'm wrong sure. about character, sure. okay? Character is doing it right. Is that the right word? Doing what's right. Doing what's right. Doing it right. And how does it go? It's doing what's right because it's right. There we go. And, and doing, doing it right. right. That's it. That's the baseline Definition. I couldn't get it together, guys. No, it's okay. That's the baseline definition for character. And whenever um, you talk about character, it should be what defines you. When you're in front of people as well as not in front of people, it should be who you are all the time. Right, character is who you are. Yep. So you don't have to put on this face today. And, oh, I'm going to grab this face tomorrow. Oh, right. oh, not even the whole nother day. I'm going to have one face in the morning and then I'm going to have another face in the evening yeah. Yeah. because now I'm going to kick it with my friends so I need to put this other face on. No. Stay the same. Stay who you are. Be consistent in who you are all the time. Right. Integrity. Pretty much the same thing, okay? Don't be a liar. Yeah. Right? Say what you mean and mean what you say. Be honest and be straightforward. Now, be those things in love. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Because you can tell me something, you know, because it's right. Right. But it's how you tell it to me Ooh. and the spirit in which you told it to That's me. That's good. That's right? good. So, in this marriage confession, we want to be those type of um, qualities that us ladies we want to have yeah. in the marriage with our husband, okay? Yeah. And then the next part was, and wisdom, and will help lead my home in worship, even as I'm a worshiper. Okay, wisdom, pray for it. God will give you the wisdom. Woo! Girl, you tan it up over Okay, me. God will give you the wisdom to be able to co-lead your husband in your marriage. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So we don't have all the answers. We don't get it right all the time. But, however, we still pray about things that we don't have the answers to. Absolutely. And wait for God to give us the revelation or give us the knowledge or someone else comes to us with the answer that we have already prayed to God about. for. Correct. 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 Definitely. And then, 
Wisdom also is just making sure that we are covering all angles, not just for ourselves individually. Mm -hmm. This is not just about being selfish with the decision. It's having all people in mind. Right. And you can't be selfish in a marriage right. anyway. Right. Right. Ladies and gentlemen. Right. <laughs> you cannot be selfish in a marriage. Because Absolutely. if you were going to be selfish, you just should have been with yourself. Right, right. Okay? You should have been single. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? You should have stayed with yourself by yourself instead of getting married. Yeah. If you were going to be selfish. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Um, you want to take the next sentence? Sure. Um, and will leave my home in worship even as I am a I am a worshiper. Well, number one, worship, um, in order to be a worshiper, there has to be a unity. There has to be a oneness. Um, and when you are in oneness, um, leading your family in worship, that means intimacy. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you're in worship, that is unity of your spirit. And we know that the Bible says that they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth because he is the truth. But see, here it is. You have to understand your spirit. Your spirit, man, is the true you. Right. And so... That's how we worship God. That's how we are intimate with God because through our spirit, all right? And then I lead out of my spirit because that's the, that's the one uh, part of me that is most connected to God. Right. And so now when I lead my family, my family should see me connected to God. And then what they do is they connect with me. Because I'm a worshiper, they become worshipers. Right. And I also want to just say this, ladies and gentlemen. So, the part that's for the wife and the part that's for the husband is almost the same. Absolutely. So, when, when he jumps in and speak about, like, um, being a worshiper, his part and, his, and the male part... Is I decree to love her and lead my family in worship, even as I am a worshiper. Yep. So it kind of it, it matches, ladies. It's coincide. Coincide. <laughs> so we can even just actually just pick up anywhere almost. Definitely. And speak about it. So he just told his part, the male part, about being a worshiper. Yep. Okay. Yep. And it just coincides yep. with what us wives would be. With our husband in the marriage confession. Okay? Definitely, definitely. And then it says, I decree to help guide my children to the word of God as the final authority in the midst of chaos and indecision. Okay, hold on. I got you. Let, I got me, you. let me jump let, in on this one. Please do. Please okay. do. Let me get my computer back. <laughs> I decree to help guide my children. To the word of God as the final authority in the midst of chaos and indecision. All right, then. Ladies, we have to, as it says, we have to help guide our children. Yeah. Okay. To the word of God. So when your children are out of order, when there's chaos and indecision, yeah. you go to the word. Of God as the final authority, and the fight the, the word of God is the final authority. Sure, God is the final authority. Okay, right. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So when your children are out of control, okay, yeah. you're gonna bring them right back to what the word say yeah. about their behavior. Yeah, it's in there. It's in the book. Yeah, pick it up yeah. and let's read it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, especially when your children talk it back. When they go all kind of crazy, go right to the word. Right, right. And who's going to argue about it? Because it's in the word. That's what the Bible says. We're raising our children up in the word, right? Right. So even if you're not raising your children up in the word, okay? Because we got everybody that could be watching this. Sure. And they may not be picking their word up. They may not be picking the Bible up. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So let's, I got y'all to even worry about it. I decree to help guide my children 
to the word of God as the final authority in the midst of chaos and indecision. So a lot of the time when people, when some people, they may not have a Bible, they may not be going to church, they may not know, yeah. but I almost 100% know if a child, your children is going off and you don't know what to do, I bet you any money, I can almost bet, and I'm not a gambler, but I can almost bet you're going to be saying, sitting there like, oh, God, would you please help me with these kids? <laughs> Put your head down. Oh, Lord, God, please help me. Oh, somebody help me. I know it. And guess what? You just asked God to help you For help. with your children. For help. For help. You already asked them. You just asked them. Out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. So, like I said, hey, it's 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 for everybody. Sure, <laughs> God sure. is for everybody. He sure. is for everybody. Sure. So when your kids is all acting crazy, you may not even know to pick up your Bible. You may not even own one. But I know you're gonna say, Oh, I wish somebody would help me with these kids. Lord, I please wish. Lord, please pray. God, please, these kids is hurting my heart or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna ask them. Yes. And he may send you somebody to yeah. help you. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. he may just calm the storm. Right. Give you peace. Give you midst. peace in the midst of chaos. Yes. And, and indecision. Yes. And then to go to the next one. Whenever you make a decree, it is a declaration or a stance um, that you have stood on. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I decree to be a woman that is not in the middle of confusion. Right. Why is that so important, honey? <sighs> ladies, 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 ladies. Everybody is watching us. Okay, everyone, everywhere you go, someone is always watching. Mm -hmm. I love that part in that uh, cartoon. I love uh, Monster Inc. Okay, guys? Yeah. I know it's a child's uh, cartoon, but I love uh, cartoons, okay? He says, they're always watching. They're right? always watching. <laughs> and Monster Inc. I, and I always reference that because someone's always watching. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So you don't want to be that woman in the middle of confusion because everybody is going to know that you are that woman. Yeah. It's always in the middle of somebody's mess. Right, 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 right. So of course we have we have to have character, ladies. We have to know when to not be in the middle of confusion or be that peacemaker in the midst of the confusion yeah. because you're trying to assist to bring it down. Wow. Right? So there's, you don't want to be that one in the middle of it. Yeah. Right? Causing the confusion. Yeah. Yeah. Stirring up the pot, as they say. Yeah. At work, at home, in your family life, in your, with your friends. You don't want to be that woman because who's going to want to be around you? The only people that's going to want to be around you are the ones that has the same mentality as you. Come on, girl. That's making all that noise. It's a lot of noise. Yeah. The Bible references us women. We need to shut up sometimes. Yeah. Okay? We need to shut up. Zip it the lip it. Okay? <laughs> sometimes we got to be quiet. Yeah. Study yeah. to be quiet is what it says. Yeah. But I like to say he said unless to shut our mouth. That's what I like to say. Because sometimes women we talk to entirely... Too much. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, and I know that's not even what we're talking about, but that's where I want to go. Right. Sometimes women, we talk too much. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. Have, there's a lot of things that we do not have to say. Wow. Wow. That's big, and that's coming from a woman, you <laughs> all. That's not coming from me because y'all be looking at me cockeyed. <laughs> Wait, who you think you talking to? <laughs> no. This is coming from a woman point of view. Some things do not have to be said, ladies. You don't have to be always get the last word. Oh my goodness. Girl. You don't have to show your husband up. Wow. Okay? Sometimes, yes, ladies, sometimes we know the right answers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have the wisdom. Yeah. Sometimes we have the information. But you do not have to embarrass your husband mm -hmm. in front of everybody, whether it's at church, at work, in the community, at the grocery store, or whatever. Do not do him that way. Wow. 
If you do have the answer, hey, whisper it to him. Oh, honey, you know. Wait till you get back in the car. Wait till you're able to talk to him, have that discussion with him. And you know, and, and if he is, if we, if you are somewhere and it's just flat out wrong, you know, it'd be like, hey, how you know? Yeah. Have a little dialogue and correct it right then, so we won't be out here lost or something yeah. in that nature. Yeah. But ladies, you don't have to show them up. You don't have to do that. Because we're the co-leaders, okay? We're not the leader. We're the co-leader. So we need to have their back. That's what we... Go ahead. Girl, you know, you're making me, you know, hot and bothered. <laughs> <laughs> no. Go but ahead, look, go ahead. But it's the truth. The next one says, I will build my home on the solid foundation of the revelation knowledge of the truth of the word of God. Now that is big. Mm -hmm. That is big. Because whenever you get revelation knowledge, actually, that's what Peter got. Peter got revelation knowledge. And when Peter got revelation knowledge, Jesus said, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father, which is in heaven. And then upon that, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Mm -hmm. And so what you are getting, the understanding that you are getting, the revealed knowledge that you are getting, ladies, it is important. It is invaluable because what it's going to do is it's going to cause you and your family to be prosperous. That's what it's going to cause. Because when you are prosperous in your mind, then you become prosperous in your life. Uh-oh. Watch your tone there, Brown. When you, look, whatever, Watch your tone there, Brown. Whatever you believe, <laughs> you're going to manifest it in your life. Because you not when, when you believe it, then you're going to live it. Mm -hmm. And then when you live it, then you're going to receive the result of it, which is manifestation. Right. Listen, listen, listen. It says, I will build my home on the solid foundation. We're going to stop right there. Yeah. Building your home on the solid foundation. Now, I'm no contractor or anything, but I'm quite sure um, if you all are out there that build homes, you have to have a solid foundation because if you do not have a solid foundation and there's any cracks or crevices Messing up in that solid foundation, that beautiful new home, that beautiful building, that beautiful high rise that you just tried to create is going to fall apart it eventually. Is. It is. Okay? It may look real beautiful when you get it together. Oh, yeah. this home is great. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. But then, if you did not build it on a solid foundation, yeah. don't let a little earthquake come through there. Uh-oh. Your solid foundation is going to crumble, and so is your new building or home that you just built. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So it has to be built on a solid foundation. So, ladies, we have to build our homes on a solid foundation. Now, I'm not speaking about physically building our homes on a solid foundation. I'm talking about creating that peace in your home on the solid foundation. See, okay? Ladies, you are you are what we would call the thermostat of the home. <laughs> you are the thermostat of the home. And whatever temperature is set, that is how the family is going to function. Mm -hmm. And see, us men, what we are is we are the meter. And so we can either turn the heat up or turn it down. Oh, yeah. But see, she holds the key to the home temperature. Right. Well, not only the key to the home temperature, because the way you men want your homes to be, that's how you need to set the temperature Absolutely. Too. Okay? Absolutely. So if you all mess that temperature up, yeah. then that's going to create the whole household to the be... The environment is going, going to be to off. chaotic. It's going to be off. It you set the chaotic. temperature in the home. Yep. Yeah. So that means if men, if you, oh man, men, if you all are doing what you need to do, okay? baby, if you all are protecting her emotionally, 
physically, spiritually, financially. Uh huh. You have already <laughs> set the temperature in your house. Yes. You have already laid the foundation. Yeah. And she gonna build it up from there. Me and you laying. It. She oh, owned it. it. She owned it. Me and you laying the foundation. Lay the foundation, and we will build. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go somewhere, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna move there yet. See, look. Then it says, "I am committed to the continuation mm -hmm. of learning who I am as an individual through the love of God." That's, I don't think we. I, that's, that's deep. I don't think we got enough time that's to talk on this one sentence right that's here. Deep. I don't think we have enough time. I am committed to the continuation of learning who I am. Ladies, know who you are. Know your worth. Okay? But you got to keep on the continuation it's of learning. It's a continuation. You're going to be learning something all the time. It's continuous. It yeah. doesn't stop. Your yeah. marriage, building your marriage don't stop when you yeah. get married. Yeah. Building your marriage don't stop when you become an empty nester. Look. Building your marriage don't stop. It continues every day. And then you said something about the foundation earlier. When your foundation is built on love, baby, you got a sturdy foundation. Right. But don't get it twisted now because it needs more than love to keep that foundation stable. But see, it's just like a curtain rod. A curtain rod is love. And everything that is hung on the curtain rod, it falls with the curtain rod. And so the curtain rod is love. And so whenever you are built it on there, then if love falls, then it all falls. Exactly. So but you also have to continue with everything. It is continuation. It is continuation. It really is. And we're not going to finish this. This is just, this is part two. This is part two. I this, told this, you guys. This is, this is part the two. The marriage confession is a series. It is. <laughs> it really is. And so, again, ladies and gentlemen, look, this is another episode of the live show. I, I can't say it enough. I'm so excited to be a part of this. And I know this woman, this fine young lady here is excited. We are excited. Well, you see, we win our, we win our life. You know. <laughs> Look, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you all. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Don't forget to tune in to the next episode <laughs> of The Life Show. The Life Show. Keep it locked. God bless you. And God Good night. You. Good night.